power over Naira. See them talk say, make we off mind. But then go say, my ego don't come. So my people make you lie down. Oh, yo, yo, my ego don't come. Oh, yo, yo. My people make we shut down. Oh, yo, yo. They do even no one make person talk. Hmm. Them say that my egun, that man do they talk. He do they talk. Say my egun diary, he they hot like pepper. But every day, then they take money in buck. Woman picking, they the street, they hawk. Still, them talk say, make we not talk. But thank God say, my egun don't come. So my people make you love. Oh, yeah, yeah. My egun don't come. Oh, yeah, yeah. My people make you shut up. No Good morning to you once again, good afternoon to you, and good evening to you from wherever you are joining us from. It is Mayegu Live. <laughs> Please read the uh, caption of this uh, broadcast, as well as uh, the short description as well. But this broadcast is going to be more detailed than what you are reading there. Please share it and tell them that my ego today. <laughs> Nigeria is not a real place, and every day we are proven right again and again and again. Share the broadcast. Nigeria is the only country in the world where whistleblowers, journalists, activists are jailed, but terrorists are pardoned. Nigeria is also a, the only place on the surface of the earth where now only person we the mad the fight for Nigerians. It is a place where they love their oppressors and their criminals differently. What today? Sorry about that poor background there sound. I'll keep apologizing until uh, it is fixed, okay? But do let me know if this voice is not loud enough. Eh? 
make her turn them up even louder. Thank you so much for joining me again uh, today. And thanks so much for sharing the broadcast as well. Uh, it is Mayegun, and this is live for those who are watching this live. The caption of the rider for this uh, broadcast tonight is not a shocker to many. It is just further confirmation or validation of uh, why a lot of us concluded at least a long time ago that there is no way you will be running a country like this and be telling the people that they have future. There is no future for anyone in a place run like this, where dog eats dogs, and where criminals who have connections can send you to jail for committing no crime other than exposing criminals. You have to be on the run. Yeah? Nigeria is a place where, I mean, the people you think you are exposing or you, I mean, the people you think you are helping by exposing all of the wrong things in the society, they will be the first set of people to come for you. Because somehow, somehow, your expose could actually eh, be the exposition on their criminal activities, which they don't really see as a crime. Since you are criminals with connections. Ladies and gentlemen, the two people you have on the screen are uh, the first one is uh, Shoyombo, the Sayo, and the second lady there, the lady on the screen is uh, Buki Donibare. Uh, the one on the left, Pisayo, is an award-winning investigative journalist. This is not the first time he is having sort of an issue with uh, the Nigeria police. The last time he had issue with the Nigerian police was in 2021. When the, uh, the media that uh, they work for, Foundation for Investigative Journalism, Pisayo is not your regular journalist, okay? He is also not your regular uh, investigative journalist. He is a guy that actually puts himself into the investigation he is conducting including having to put his own life on the line. And because of this, he has been awarded eh, for his great works, locally and internationally. So in 2021, hmm, Pisayos uh, Media, that is the FIJ Foundation for Investigative Journalism, they made an expose. An expose also published by the Premium Times. It was the moment after Oshtelo Abakiyari and the investigation of Oshtelo Abakiyari. And these guys, not him, but the media, the medium, and the ex I mean, the invest I mean, sorry, the journalists are exposed that the person the police appointed to investigate. That had the committee or whatever investigating Abakiyari, the guy in a criminal law. In case if you don't know, this guy on his own, eh, has his own eh, sort of a eh, police eh, outpost with names, okay? You know, they have names, different names like that, that are only working for him and he's been drawing billions upon billions of money from the police eh, fund. Instead of them to go for the police to investigate this and possibly go after uh, this individual, the founder of uh, the founder of uh, the FIJ, Isayo, was declared uh, wanted. If he 
did not show himself up in 24 hours. So Fisayo went and he was detained. And we started the hashtag free Fisayo, show your own ball. Free Fisayo now. What kind of a country is this? Ladies and gentlemen, this was just about uh, two and a half years ago. Do you know the latest Wahala? Right. Now look at your screen again. You see Buki Shonibare? Uh -huh. She is a board member. As a board of trustee member of the FIJ, uh, which is the Foundation for Investigative Journalism. And because they were looking for Shoyombo, so they found Shonibare, so they picked her up and they started threatening her to produce Fisayo Shoyombo. And why are they looking for Fisayo? Ladies and gentlemen, for those who are familiar with uh, his work, or and those who are not, let me just give you a few recent work that prompted this. You have heard about the IB Dende, the Nigeria Custom, as well as uh, what do you call it, uh, the smuggling and corruption, which has become an institution, eh? especially in Ogun State. Ogo State border of the Nigeria custom. Now, this Pisayo and his investigation discovered that this IBD and so many others like that, but especially IBD then they with evidence. So this is not like uh, somebody making accusation anyhow, okay? with evidence that this guy brags, okay, that. No custom can actually seize any of his uh, drugs or whatever contraband is bringing into Nigeria. Is that connected to the point that eh, while the investigation was going on, while uh, Isaya was doing his own uh, thing, gathering all the evidence, I did. Then they was one of the one thousand four hundred people that uh, Tifnubu took to Dubai for the climate change summit remember so that and the images that came out of after that right sort of further give credence to the connection that this guy has with uh, Tifnungu, because people have already told this journalist that you are only wasting your time that this guy is so connected that the current dg of custom eh, how the person became dg of custom is not without the influence of this guy you are investigating that every custom officer operating in that axis especially the southwest part of nigeria eh? they know ibd then they in fact they have so much cordial relationship that some of the custom officers themselves eh? they have joined smuggling uh, ring i'm talking about higher up okay Customs are supposed to inspect what comes into the country, confiscate some of them that are contraband, arrest culprits, try them, and possibly dispose of their contraband. This is the job of customs. But surprisingly, the people that the customs are supposed to be checkmating, they have gone into partnership together to the point that this relationship is so good that some custom officers working in that axis they have become so rich that they have built hotels. Now, not just them, even the smugglers, they have built different hotels in that axis. That if you are a custom officer working in that part of Ogun State, there is no point in you trying to figure out smuggling routes because you'll be cooling and chilling in the five-star hotels constructed by these criminals. They are criminals in the sense that you might think but they are bringing food in. This is where fighting for Nigerians is not by any means an option. Don't fight for Nigerians. Do you understand? You cannot fight for them. When Nigerians are indeed higher than done, they will fight for themselves. Okay? The moment Fisa, I mean, Fisayo started ex this expose, it was supposed to be a bombshell. Heads were supposed to roll. It was a graveyard silence. 
Then surprisingly, or not surprisingly, eh? different, different uh, journalists, media, they started the whitewashing job. Oh, on a video, deal. where then they, they slap custom officer that was checking his, that they said arrested he of his truck. These guys were not only bringing, I mean, if it was food, okay, there are those who don't care whether the food is going to harm them or not. They don't care. They just want cheap food. Okay, fine. Or maybe not fine. These guys were bringing in drugs, guns, and so many other dangerous stuff that the customs that are supposed to be checking them, eh? they just look away. And it is like that on a daily basis. This report is out there. Everyone have it. But the police. Rather than investigate, we just started seeing articles. What is wrong with this guy? Since this guy started all this is nonsense. Eh? All of the rice that we used to see, the rice is no longer cheap. Food is now expensive. Omo, diolori buruku agbadori ansi. The bad stars, the bad idiots. As if to say, like pandemic corona, they invaded the social media. And rather than look at the uh, crime and the evidence, they went straight for Visayo. This Visayo is enemy of Nigeria. Why is he always going after the officials? Why is he trying to disparage the custom? All these things is writing about the custom. Mm -hmm. All these things, they are sponsored. They are sponsoring him. Baba, before we know it, Nigerian journalists have started writing articles defending Dende. He is a philanthropist. He is a cheerful giver. He helps a lot of people. He sponsors uh, uh, so many youth. He gave women money to start business. Why is this journalist coming after him? Is it because he's a supporter of Tifnumbu? Oh, that is why. Because he's a friend of Tifnumbu, that is why they came for him. Not because he's bringing in drugs. He's bringing in guns. This issue of terrorism in Eastern Nigeria, this man, IBD Dende, with evidence, expose, but with his connection, eh? all the crimes that is, is linked to is now being tagged. The enemies of Tifnumbu are trying to get to the people that are supporting Tifnumbu. And this is why this uh, word is like words of, uh, these words are like words on uh, marble. When exposing a crime is treated as committing a crime, you are being ruled by criminals. The Aragbadorians who are watching me right now, for the past eight years, some of them say topmost prayer is to see Mayegun eh, in handcuffs and inside their jail in Nigeria. Not because I have done anything, no, but because. I have used my time to awake the people by amplifying with evidence all of the crimes against humanity that these guys are committing. The victims of all of this, they wake up every day and they are like, why is this guy still not arrested? They say it on this platform. The day you come to this country, they must arrest you. This afternoon, one of these Uluri Brukus was pretty much comfortably responding to me on one of uh, my broadcasts. And he said, because I said, that why is it so difficult that the wealth of the land eh, is in the hands of few, while the majority, the son of the land or the son of the soil, the daughters of the soil, Eh? While they were wallowing in the abject poverty, desperation, and all of that, 
the resources of the land are being taken by the people that are even not from the land. And the little that is left is totally cornered by just few people. So if they are talking about a self, uh, what you call self-preservation, uh, Self-preservation is to say all the things that you have uh, stomach, whether your ancestors so, or yourself, so everything that you have labored for, that you want to, you want them to outlive you, good lives, good economy, so you get a good standard of living, standard better, I mean, sorry, a good uh, educational standard, affordable and accessible, accessible uh, health care. Something that you can easily say, this is our own. This is our direct benefit. I'm talking about livable, affordable homes. Where people actually live in homes. Things that you can really have attachment to. Now, you don't have that. The criminals who are looting everything from you, they are building different isolated places for themselves. They call them mansions. Okay? While they leave you in squalor. Then this individual said, all of your plan have failed. Nigeria can never scatter. And I'm like, do you actually really need anybody to explain to you that Nigeria is already scattered? But a lot of you are already so deluded, so comfortable in that your chain, that you think everybody is as comfortable as you are. No. Yeah? The criminals in Nigeria are those, I mean, you see the criminals in Nigeria, they are the true reflection of uh, the lunatics that will always, always defend them and prop them on. Visayo told the truth. How the system is hurting you. How the system allow criminally uh, intended people to actually work so freely, but because they give money to people, because they, uh, you know, they are. Uh, Generous, then it doesn't really matter whatever else they are doing to hurt you. So they were calling for Visayo's arrest. They were calling for Visayo's this. If something is not done, this Visayo is going to cause problem in this place. Or more, now they have declared him wanted. The Nigerian police is wanted or consistently holding the authority to their job, Pisayo called on the Nigeria customs. He does this every day. He will call them and he will take part of his investigation he published. He will take them and he will put them on uh, X on Twitter and he will call, he will say, good morning. What happened to the bullets and guns brought in by IBD, then they pieced into their component parts, smothered with black linons, just how Turkey is packaged, lumped together with Turkey as though the real import is Turkey, and smuggled to Eastern Nigeria with the knowledge of a particular custom officer in Zone B. Nigerians would like to know, why has the Nigeria Customs Service never announced the interception of these arms smuggled to the east with these specific markings? Does it mean, okay, never mind. Does it mean that we should mind our business? A lot of you have been wondering, how come immediately they kidnapped Unamdekano? Eh? Their media, their criminal eh? Security agents, eh? suddenly there is uh, insecurity in Eastern Nigeria. How many of you do I need to remind that if these things don't take rocket science? A state sponsored terrorism, this is how it works. You contact a smuggler, a smuggler brings in the bullets, he brings in the gun in containers wrapped in Turkey, eh? and then they smuggle them straight to wherever they want them delivered. Under the supervision of the Nigerian custom, maybe some Nigerian DSS, Nigerian army, Nigeria police. This information are informations that are indeed to tell you the people behind terrorism in Nigeria 
and how and when the smugglers bring in their arms into Nigeria. So when you add one and two together, I don't think it should be that difficult for any sane mind. So to the criminally minded Nigerians, this is just an attempt to spoil the name of this man. In fact, all of these things is just to tarnish his image. He is a good man. He is a very clinical man.